finally, after such a long time, I think it's been like three weeks since I bought my drone, and I'm finally able to fly it for the very first time. The weather hasn't really been the best these last few weeks here in Michigan, and I've been kind of busy lately, so I have not gotten the chance to fly the drone until today. Not only that, I only have like a two hour window today because it's gonna start raining again pretty soon here. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and this is the, the new RC controller with the built-in screen. Uh, and I was just getting done doing the takeoff operations. So the reason why I got this instead of just a regular Mini 3 was because this thing really had a few key features that really sold me to buy it. I don't think I've ever flown a drone once in my life before, so I really hope this is a fun experience. All right, but I think it's actually time to get this thing to take off. Oh, dang. <laughs> it's telling me the basic things like go up and go down. All right, okay. All right, it wants me to land now. Okay, it's not letting me land. Land, bro? Yeah. Oh my God, I just realized I was not recording the whole time. All right, whatever, let's get it back up there and get some shots. Bro, I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna crash this thing, like. Okay, how do I turn the camera? Oh my god, it's up there, bro. It's gonna fly right above us. And then point the gimbal downwards. Hey! <laughs> That's pretty cool. So right now it says it's 6.3 meters up in the air, right? Which is actually kind of up far, but I can actually feel the, the wind propellers or whatever. I can actually feel the propellers like pushing air downwards onto me right now. Oh, it's getting a bit chilly. Oh, dude, that's cool. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, let's see if we can get a good view of the lake from here. Gimbal back. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So it's telling me that I'm about to run into a tree, and my thing is starting to beep a lot, right? And on the camera, it looks kind of scary telling me that it's gonna crash into the tree, right? But really, my drone's right there, and the tree's right there. It might not look like in the camera, but it is still like a fair distance away, which is pretty good, because you don't want it to get too close before the, the, the remote actually starts to warn you that you're about to crash into something. Yeah, I still definitely need to get used to figuring out which joystick is actually the one for moving, and which one is actually for, like, you know, moving the camera and stuff. Okay, so in my area, we're only supposed to go 120 meters up into the air. Ooh, there's the lake. Okay, now now it's like I'm just spying on people. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> okay, so there I, th I feel like this is like a small latency problem because if I turn if I turn, it takes a while before it actually like responds. Yo, this gives this is actually a crazy new perspective. Like I never. I've never seen my street uh, at this angle before, at this view. Oh, no way, you can even see the church all the way back there at the end of the road. Yeah, I've been flying this thing for like 15 minutes now, and it's about, it's actually 49% battery, so the battery time isn't, uh, uh, it's, it's not that bad, but it's not the greatest. But I know I can buy another battery that DJI sells that actually extends the life of it. But the thing with that is that it's not gonna be below 249 grams, and I won't be able to fly without having to register, and I think getting a drone license as well. And it's gonna be harder to take it through airports and have and get the ability to fly it in other countries. All right, I think that's enough exploring the controls. I'm gonna try and take the drone back down and see if we can do some of the other cool stuff that has. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, the image quality really isn't that bad with this. So it's warning me that I'm getting a bit too close. All right, I finally found the menu option for this. Uh, master shots. Tap an object to record them. So it's focused on me now. I'm not, I'm not controlling anything, and it's going to fly on its own. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's about to crash into a tree. Oh, yo, 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 chill. Oh, no, let me, let me turn this around. Bro, I was pretty close to crashing this thing. <laughs> Bro, it's supposed to be able to uh, detect stuff, but I guess the back it doesn't really have the best sensors, so it's kind of hard to avoid there. Okay, so this is actually one setting that I want to try. It's called Asteroid. Okay, have it select me real quick. I need to do it from a different angle. So it doesn't actually crash into those trees, and then I cry. Okay, battery's low. It sort of buzz like crazy, but I think I have enough time to actually do the asteroid. Uh, okay, 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 okay. It's a critically low battery. I'll bring it down to our asteroid, I guess. I was just in the middle of taking this shot as well. 
Forest landing, Ah. All right, anyway, there are some pretty cool stuff that I can do with this. I think it's about to start raining. I really wish I could take some more shots with it, but I really do need to start practicing on this a lot more and really figuring out the ways to master this controller, master the shots I can take with this, know what I can do, and, and in no time, I should be able to start integrating this uh, drone into my vlogs and start taking some... Uh, <coughs> here's coming to my mouth. And start taking some cinematic shots with this thing and hopefully give me a new perspective and a new angle on the places I visit. And most importantly, just have fun with this thing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.